Okay, so let's solve this problem. So solving for n in permutation. So we have this given the permutation of n taken to the 72. So from this formula, n is the unknown, then r is equal to 2. So to solve for n, since the given is equal to 72, so 72 is equal to n factorial. Then r is 2, so n minus 2 factorial. Then we need to eliminate this n minus 2 factorial by rewriting this n factorial. So if we have this 9 factorial, so 9 factorial is equal to 9 times 8 times 7 factorial or times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 2 times 1. So if n is equal to 9, so this n factorial, that's n times n minus 1 because this 9 minus 1 is 8 times n minus 2 because 9 minus 2, that's 7, then factorial. So therefore, we can rewrite this n factorial as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial so that we can eliminate now this n minus 2 factorial. So 72 is equal to n times n minus 1. Then this n times n minus 1 is the product of two consecutive numbers. So if n is 7, so 7 minus 1, that's 6. So the product of two consecutive numbers. So we need to find these two consecutive numbers that the product is 72. So if 7 times 8, that's 56. What if 8 times 9? That's 72. So this 72 is equal to 8 times 9, but we need to write first the bigger number. So 72 is equal to 9 times 8. So therefore, n is equal to 9. Then to check the answer, so we have this uh, 9, so n is 9. Then this uh, permutation, the NPR. Then R is 2, so 9 taken 2, the answer is 72. So therefore, N is equal to 9. Then for this given, so N is the unknown, then R is equal to 3. Now since the given is equal to 210, so 210 that's equal to N factorial, then R is 3, so N minus 3 factorial. Then we need to rewrite this n factorial to eliminate this n minus 3 factorial. So that's n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 factorial. So eliminate now this n minus 3 factorial. So we have 210 is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. Then this n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 is the product of three consecutive numbers. So we need to find these three consecutive numbers that the product is 210. So if we have 4 times 5 times 6, that's 120. What if 5 times 6 times 7, that's 210. But we need to write first the highest number. So this 210 is equal to 7 times 6 times 5. So therefore, n is equal to 7. Then to check the answer, so n is 7, so 7, then this uh, NPR, then r is 3, so 7 taken 3 is 210. So n is equal to 7. Then for this given, so n is unknown, r is 4. So we have 1680, that's equal to n factorial over n minus 4 factorial. Then this n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 times n minus 4 factorial. Then we can eliminate now this n minus 4 factorial. So 1680 is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3. 
then we need to find these four consecutive numbers that the product is 1680. So if we have uh, 6 times 7 times 8 times 9, that's 3000. So what if 5 times 6 times 7 times 8, that's 1680. So these are the four consecutive numbers that the product is 1680, but we need to write first the highest number. So that's 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. So therefore, n now is equal to 8. Then to check the answer, so we have this n is 8, then this npr, r is 4, so 8 taken 4. That's 1680, so n is equal to 8.